Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back playing some Blast Off for Episode 2. Now, at the end of last episode, we were kind of curled up uh, in this little ice room down here, trying to get rid of our heat stroke, and I have managed to successfully get rid of it. So, uh, it turns out, a lot of people did point out in the comment section, that the torches were causing a, a lot of our problems. Uh, t for one thing, the uh, the tree setting on fire up on the surface, I believe, was caused by the torches, and, and also, I think our heat stroke was also caused by having a bunch of torches around on this main floor. Now, the reason that I put so many torches down, even though it is pretty light down here already, I'm not qu actually. I don't know how it's so light down here. If I press F7, um, yeah, it's 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 like perfectly light down here, and there are no lights. How does this does this factory block have lights coming through it? I'm not quite sure how that works, but the, the main reason that I threw a bunch of torches down as soon as we started was because I did a little test run before I recorded the first episode, and I died almost, like, instantly from hypothermia, which wasn't super fun. So this time around, I went through, I put a bunch of torches down, and I was just kind of hoping that that would solve my problems, but it didn't. It did the exact opposite. It gave us heat stroke. So uh, I've got rid of those. I'm kind of just hoping it won't happen again. I think we can kind of try and balance it out. If we get hypothermia, we'll throw down some torches. And if we get heat stroke again, we can, well, we shouldn't get heat stroke again. We can get rid of the torches and go down to the ice. So uh, I haven't done much since the end of last episode. I was going to go do some mining, but it's pretty dark. And I kind of want to do uh, most of this stuff on camera. Because uh, if you look in the quest book, most of the quests are over here and kind of down here as well. This is Britannia. Most of the quests are over here and it requires to go through the sort of wall of mob quests that we have over here. Now, uh, I have been checking the forms. I do know that in the next version of the pack, I think this is going to be changed. And you don't have to go and kill all so many mobs before you can start doing stuff, which is pretty nice. And this pack, by the way, is getting updates left, right and center. But uh, I think, do I, do I brave it? Do I head on out into the... The wide world and trying to attack these guys or do I just stay down in my uh, cave? Let's do it. Ah! No. 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 There's a witch. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. Whoo! Come on, let me down. Okay. I didn't think we'd make that. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I didn't think we'd make that at all. But we did, and we got a skeleton kill, which is one of ten, I guess. Um, <laughs> which is not the best, but it's a start. Uh, we seriously need to get started with some hydration. So I think uh, when the day comes, what we'll probably do is we'll do... A, oh my gosh, we got insanity. What we'll do when the day comes is we'll get our... Uh, we'll do a bit more tree cutting down so we can try and get the um, this quest completed over here and get our 16 saplings, get some uh, get some flowers and maybe get rid of our insanity. And then after that, we'll try and head over to some of the nearby sort of like spikes of, uh, of, uh, of stone and ore and we'll try and get some of those to, uh, to give us some iron, at which point we can start with the crucible and we can start getting some water, which will be quite nice because if you look down the bottom left, we are getting pretty low on water. It's pretty low. Luckily, we can drink this. Uh, it's not too bad. We can go ahead and just drink some stuff up. We do have some apples here that we can eat, which is kind of nice. We also have steak. We got, we're fine for food for now, but in terms of everything else, it's not great. Uh, let's, throw, let's throw our armor on. Uh, I think our armor was also part of our heat drug cause, which is not great. Uh, although it does help us a lot against the mobs. And a lot of people in the comment section did also point out that what Last Stand does is... Uh, actually, we should probably put that on. Is uh, Last Stand will take health off your experience before it actually kills you. So if you're down to your last sort of last legs and you're about to die. If you've got Last Stand on, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to... It's going to start taking that health off of your experience bar instead of off of you. So you won't die straight away. Which is quite nice. So do we want to run out again? We're insane. I don't like it. Ah! My god. As soon as it starts. No! No, no, no. Whoo! Don't shoot, mate. Don't shoot me with fireballs. Oh my gosh. We are so close to death. What is with the purple on the screen? Oh my god. There's a skeleton over there. I'm going to try and make it back down to the house. Oh my gosh. We've got nausea. Ah! Hide behind the tree. Hide behind the tree. The skeleton over there, he's going to shoot me in the face. Oh, my gosh. I think it's okay. We do have last stand still. Oh, my God. There's a witch there. Whew. Okay. Jeez. Why, why are we a skeleton? And why do I have hypothermia now? My gosh. Okay. Let's drop a level. Let's throw down a torch. Let's just sort of sit by it. Hopefully, that will fix our hypothermia. It's not going to fix our insanity, which is not great. Let's go ahead and eat some uh, some pumpkin pie. Try and get our health back up because, geez, I would like to be able to uh, start g gaining health again. Wow. I think 
I think the hypothermia comes when we go outside in the night. If we go outside while it's dark, I think it's more likely to be cold than if we go outside during the day. So, uh, let's turn another torch here and try not to die. Oh my gosh. Come on now. Okay, the day looks like it's coming pretty soon. Our health is coming back, which is pretty nice. Hopefully, like I said, the hypothermia will wear out. We're up to Insanity 3, which <laughs> is not great. Uh, but hopefully... Oh, nausea again. Uh, hopefully, as soon as the day comes, we should be able to... Um, oh, jeez. There we go. We should be able to get rid of the hypothermia and the nausea. And hopefully get rid of the insanity once, um, once we get all 16 saplings. Flipping heck. <laughs> this pack. You know, this pack is, is quite something. I'm going to stand by these torches and have a quick flick through the quest book. Um... Let's see. What else can we do? Uh, we can start making the drawers, but again, we need we need iron for that. We can make the hang glider. We need, oh, that's what we were doing. We were smelting up zombie brains. Ah, did we get any more? We how did we not get any more zombie brains? We were I don't even know how that works. We were killing so many zombies up there, and somehow still don't have zombie brains. Now, on the bright side, it looks like insanity doesn't actually deal any damage to our health, which is quite nice. It seems like it only deals damage. Uh, well, really to like our FOV and the per pink, pink radar screen. Uh, I apologize if you turned off by the, the pink sort of vignette radar screen there. There's not much I can do about that. Uh, what we can do in the daytime is we can run around and pick up a bunch of uh, rotten flesh like that. And then we should be able to make ourselves a hang glider, which will make traveling around uh, quite a bit easier. Let's take our sword. Uh, someone did say we probably shouldn't have taken the sword. We should have probably taken the... Um, oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. No, 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 You can see that. Oh, my gosh. I died. <laughs> no. Okay, okay, okay. No, go away, map. No one cares. Run. Pick up all of this stuff. Okay, so I did I did change the um, the HQM stuff a little bit so that we do have uh, extra lives because, flipping heck, if we'd have played this on hardcore, we would, well, we would quite clearly be dead already. Uh, let's see if we can quickly get our stuff back. Come on, give me back, give me back, give me back, give me back, give me back. There we go. That's all I want. Ah. Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay. These guys are going to burn in the sun, which is nice. Uh, he's going to take a while to burn in the sun, so we might want to circle him around a little bit. Do we have our pickaxe? If we do, we can we can head over here and start to get some stuff done. Because I think uh, during the day we need to get these we need to get some stuff from these pillars. Otherwise, uh, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to do it in the night. It's just not gonna happen. Uh, what we should do, I think, is try and work towards a pick. That can uh, get us cobblestone. Uh, not cobblestone, get us coal. Because then we can start lighting up the area around here. Granted, it probably won't help with the heat stroke. But what it will do, and get out of here. What it will do is it will allow us to flip in, uh, walk around at night a bit more. Which is always nice. Get, get, get out of here. Where's our sword? I need my sword. Here it is. Okay, it's a paper sword. It's pretty bad. Whew. Oh my god. Gosh, why is it like a why does it have to be a god slime? Why? 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 I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm gonna die. No. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, Alright. <laughs> okay, okay. Jeez, that's two down. We got three lives left. Um, just a heads up, guys. I may go ahead and add more lives to this, by the way. I'm not going to be playing by uh, strictly hardcore rules. So I would like to make a bit more of a series out of this and kind of show, show you some more of the pack than, than just the first five minutes over and over and over again because I keep dying. So uh, I may tinker with that uh, a little bit. I don't think there are any quests that gives you lives. However, there is uh, the sync mod a little bit later on, which, um, which I think will be uh, pretty fun to play with. Okay. Let's get let's get a little okay, let's get a little bit of cobblestone. Oh, get get out of here. Let's get a little bit of cobblestone. I think we have to travel a little bit further afar if we want to find some iron. Like there isn't any iron at this this place here. There isn't any at the moment. Uh, what I did see somebody do in a little video is actually use a creeper to blow some of this stuff up, which actually I thought was a pretty cool idea. If you could use a creeper to get some of that TNT, maybe. Um, there are more pillars further out. We've got to go explore and get some of those things. And there are also little pockets of uh, gravel, which I think I see over there. Or is that just another pillar? I'm not too sure, but there are little pockets of gravel around as well, so we can sort of get gravel and maybe move on to flint tools. I'm not sure what the, what level flint is, like what flint can mine. I think, if I'm not mistaken, flint should be able to uh, to go ahead. Ooh, we got our, I forgot about our holy meat. Uh, I think flint should be able to go ahead and mine uh, coal, possibly. We'll have to check that in, in a little while. But for now, let's get this stuff. And then let's go ahead and, and get rid of this stuff and get our 
uh, saplings again so we can get the flowers because I do not want that sanity to get that, that sanity to get so low again because flipping heck that, that pink around the screen was getting like super invasive like really really invasive all right let's <laughs> let's get rid of this and then we can go ahead and plant a new one down uh, I'm hoping that the magma creams aren't after me but looking at the minimap there they seem to be marching towards me quite quite briskly oh my gosh talk about flipping get out of here. I'm always scared now of breaking these little guys because... Oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. Because <clears throat> I'm scared that I'm going to kill them. And then they're going to come back as like... They're going to break up into little like hyper zombie slimes that have like fireballs that they fire at me and stuff. And it's... Ah, this, <laughs> this is the hard pack, guys. This is the hard pack. If you haven't played it yet, uh, there's, there's information in the description on how you can, uh, how you can download it. Jeez. All right. Let's get rid of you. And let's get our next tree down because we need more. We need more stuffs. All right, here we go. Uh, somebody told me in the comment section as well that, uh, that someone that, that you can only stack bone meal up to 32 in a stack now instead of 64. Apparently, it's a mod that's been added, which is uh, why that's a thing. Let's go ahead and take this. We'll make another crook real quick uh, so we can try and get these saplings. Oh, torch. Get rid of it. Get rid of the torch. There we go. Okay. We get rid of the torch. We're not going to get heat stroke, which is nice. And the tree's not going to burn. Uh, some people thought it was global warming, which I thought was a good idea. But uh, it turns out not to be the case. Some people thought it was sort of the heat coming through the earth, straight from the sun that was causing it. But uh, a lot of people did notice that it was only on the side of the torch. So it was probably more likely that the torch was causing it and not uh, the sun directly above us. All right. Let's get rid of all of you. Uh, I would kind of like vein miner on here. I, I could install it, I guess. But I, I think that kind of ruins the, the objective of the pack when you uh, install things that make it faster. But uh, let's go to you. It would be nice to just hold down a vein miner key, though, and get rid of all this stuff at once. But there we go. We have 17. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Let's go ahead and manually submit. Now, I'm going to take sugarcane seeds here. We have a, a choice of cactus, carrot, and sugarcane. I'm going to take sugarcane. It feels the most valuable to me, at least. Uh, let me drop these real quick so I can go ahead and claim reward. Did I claim it? Oh, no, we need, we need a bunch of our space in that. Uh, I'm waiting for the, the nice jingle. Do we have sound on? I do, yeah. Okay. Right, let's head on down. Let's dump some stuff into this chest. Like, the material in, materials in you we don't need. We should put our armor back on. That's definitely a thing we should do. That is running low. I don't like that. I want that. I want to fill that back up. I like the last stand effect we have. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, we've got some sugar kids. We've got some flowers. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do we have any, like, spare dirt? Maybe? We do. Okay. I'm going to plant this down in here because I think having this makes me feel a lot more sane. It makes me feel... So much better having this plant around. It's brilliant. Uh, and, and what I did see uh, somebody do is go ahead and plant sugarcane down here. Now, we would need a, uh, a, a another piece of dirt in order to do that. But what we can do is we can put our dirt like here. And because we have water, we can start growing some sugarcane, which is, is pretty cool. That also allows us to get paper, which means we can make paper tools, which is pretty nice. Let me do a quick check on flint tools. Let's see. Uh, mining level is still stone, which is not great. Let's have a look. Pick. X. Let's have a look. Um, stone, 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 cup. Ah, oh, geez. These all have really low mining levels. Okay, iron pickaxe obviously has a higher mining level. I think I might have been right before with the whole we have to wait till our pickaxe is upgraded until it gets a higher mining level. Let me try and jump. Yeah, I think you've got to time. Let me out. Da. Yeah, there we go. I think you've got to time this perfectly for the whole. There we go. The whole jump like that. Uh, okay, what we'll do is we'll finish off this tree, and then we'll head on over to, uh, I think we'll might, do we want to try and look for a new place? Ah, I feel like we don't, I feel like we don't. What we could do, actually, no, okay, scratch that. What we're going to do is we're going to put up a perimeter. We are going to put up a perimeter that allows us to, uh, to come out here at night, so we can grow trees throughout the night. That is priority number one. I'm going to get some fences. Uh, we're going to put a fence up around this place. We're going to fill it with torches. Um, that is going to cause, I think, no, I think we'll be fine. Uh, it could cause heat stroke, but I think it'll probably counteract the uh, the whole um, idea of, bleh, I'm losing, I'm blanking right here. The whole idea of the hypothermia when we come out at night. So let's have a look. Fence, what's the recipe for fence in this? It's all sticks. Okay, here we go. Look, everything only stacks um, to um, 32, which is a bit annoying, not gonna lie, it's a little bit annoying, but uh, I think we could put up with it. Okay, we got 20. How far, How much of a perimeter can we put up with uh, with 20? I'm gonna try at least cover up sort of what we have right now. What have we, what's slowing us down? I don't know. 
I'm going to try to cover up at least what we've got right now. And most of... I'm going to try to go around the whole of this thing here. Because if we can get that done, if I press F7, yeah, you can see the yellow lines. Mobs can, mobs can spawn everywhere. What I would like, personally, is I would like to be able to surround all of this with fence, which... To be fair, might not happen, looking at how much we got from that, which isn't a lot. Uh, I would like to be able to cover it all with, like, too high fence, because then what we could do is we could go ahead and, and just, like, stop mobs attacking us all outright, which would be quite nice, but that might not happen. So, we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. All right. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't think we're going to be able to uh, completely surround this just yet. But, Okay. Okay, let's make let's make it smaller for now. Uh, I'm gonna make it just sort of connect up around here. So it's a little, it's a, a much smaller cube, but at least if we could just come out at night and grow trees, if we can just not have to sit down in that hidey little hole all night long, I think it's gonna be much much better. All right, let's get rid of some of you. Eventually, I would like to get maybe that whole pillar over there within my fence radius or within my base radius, so we can actually start getting some of that stone. Uh, like I said, I think we have to level up our pickaxe a bit more before we can actually go ahead and uh, mine higher things. I'm not sure if you can use a pickaxe to mine stained clay, which I think is what we're stood on. Uh, we are stood on hardened clay. We might be able to sort of mine through some of that and try level up our pick that way. If that does work, that's actually really nice because it means that we can uh, level up our pick without having to go all the way over to the danger zone over there. And we can kind of just dig downwards. Which is quite nice. I haven't looked down, so I don't know what's beneath us. I'm assuming a whole lot of nothing. But I never know. There could be something down there. All right, quick. Let's get some more stuff. I can feel the night coming. I do not want... Oh, gosh. Talk about feeling the night coming. Uh, I do not want... I'm going to do this. Um. No. Come on. I don't want to die. <laughs> This evening. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, the downside is, again, still, I don't think we'll be able to, to come out this night because the flipping, the mobs can fire at us over the fence, which means that even though we've got this cool little border, we're still pretty much screwed. All right. Um, no mobs yet. Although lightning is a rife. Okay, I'm going to try and get another tree in. So I think... Oh, I can see mobs spawning out in the distance. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, don't let it... Nope, 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 nope. We don't need that much more stuff. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, we can do this. I think we can put a fence on there. We can then do this. Okay, we need a few more fences. Come on now. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, nope, that's exactly what I wanted to do. All right, <laughs> okay. We're going to hide inside. All right. <laughs> well, at least our sanity's up. At least our sanity's up. That's, I guess, a plus, maybe? Kind of. What we can do also is we can go ahead and start smelting some of this stuff up. We've got six. I think we need a 12 for a glider. Let's have a look. Uh, glider... We're going to need two of these, which means we need six, yeah, 12. 12 and some sticks. All right, that's fine. So we can take one, two, three, four, five, six of those, smelt those up with some sticks, I guess. We don't really have anything else. Yeah, I guess sticks are going to have to have to do, although sticks don't last very long at all. So that's probably not going to burn uh, all of those up. We can also, oh, we can't because we don't have any wood. Ah, uh, I was going to say that we could go ahead and get some drying racks. If we get some drying racks, my gosh, that weather is loud. Uh, weather. Uh, if we do get some drying racks, which I believe we can make. Come on, catch up. Uh, if we make some drying racks, what we can do is we can hang up our rotten flesh and turn it into actual food, uh, which is quite nice. That'll be uh, pretty useful. Unfortunately, like, oh, we had cobblestone as well. Damn. Okay, maybe. Just maybe. We can kill all the zombies in this, uh, in, the, in our sector. If we can kill all the zombies out here and try and not get hit by the ones that are out in the cold. Like that guy over there, I can see him. He doesn't look like he can get through. 
which is good. Okay, they could just walk straight in. All right, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Okay, okay. 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 We might be safe. Maybe. Possibly. Probably not. <laughs> okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I can see him out there. It's loud. It's cold. It's raining. It's terrible. It's horrifying. But I think we're safe. I think we might be safe, guys. I think we might have just managed to get away with that. Uh, we do have hypothermia, which is to kind of be expected. Luckily, uh, as, I, as with heat stroke, it looks like it's not actually going to harm us in any meaningful way. So we should be okay, I think. All right. Oh, I, oh, I didn't want to put that down. All right. We'll break this. We'll make some more torches. We'll then get on to some drying racks and we'll get some more fuel in the thing. And then we'll try breaking the hardened uh, clay beneath us with our pickaxe and see if it actually levels it up. Because if it does, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Now, thankfully, there is a recipe for torches, which if, I believe is just this. Yeah. Okay, let's take you. Oh, we already had some torches. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's see. F7. Let's, let's make it as hard as possible for mobs to spawn around here. Please don't get in. Please don't get in. Do not find a way in, please. Oh, jeez. He is close. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's think about moving this. Unfortunately, it does slow us down quite a bit, which is not very fun. And that's probably going to burn our tree something crazy. Oh, how did you get in? Come on, the floor's near me somewhere. There it is. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay. Okay, our system's not foolproof. Our system... It's quite obviously not foolproof. Okay, um, let's see about breaking into these walls. So our pickaxe is currently at a durability. Uh, okay, we want the skill XP. Okay, skill XP is 25 out of 144. If I were to break this, which I don't think I'm supposed to do, really. Although it is a cool looking block. We are at 27. Okay, so that worked. Does that work? It does. So that, that actually levels up our stuff. Now, this is actually probably a better idea. It's probably better to make our walls out of this, the hardened clay, instead of making it out of wood or cobblestone, because we don't have a ton of wood and cobblestone, and it would actually probably be an even better idea to um, put some torches down out here. Let me... Because if a mob spawns over there, I will I will cry. Pretty hard. I do not want mobs to be spawning inside my base. That would be, that would be terrible. Let's eat some more pumpkin pie. Let's heal ourselves up a little bit. Jeez. Okay, can we use this clay for anything? We can make covers. We can turn it into different forms of clay. We can put it in a mana infuser to make sand. To make red sand. Which might come in useful. Can we then use that sand for anything? We can make TNT. We can make compressed sand. We can smell glass. So it actually looks like it's normal sand. Uh, we might even be able to sift through that possibly and get... Oh, wait, the sifter doesn't work. We might be able to use it for something. I don't know. But uh, what we can do now, though, is we can definitely break some of this. Uh, what we'll probably do in the next day is try and expand our perimeter a little bit. Try and move on with some of these quests. I mean, I'd like to progress pretty quickly through some of the quests here. But this early game just requires so much attention to detail. Making sure we don't... Any of the four bars below us don't go down. Um, flipping. Make sure we don't attack, get attacked by mobs. Make sure our... We have hypothermia go insane, trees go on fire, just anything like that. There is so much stuff that we have to, uh, to keep an eye on. But uh, what I think I will do now, guys, is I think I'm going to end the episode there. What I'll do, uh, well, I said this last episode, but what I think I'll try and do between this episode and next is go ahead and mine a bit more of this stuff. So, again, oh, this only stacks to 16, wow. Uh, we'll try and mine a bit more of that stuff to level up our pickaxe. Hopefully, once we get to 144 XP, it might be able to mine an extra level. Uh, it does say they're mining XP, 49 out of 151. Maybe that has to do with uh, the level there. That's 50 out of 151. I think when we get to 151 there on the mining XP, it will jump up to be able to mine better stuff. I think that's how that's going to work. So, yeah, I think I'm going to end the episode there, guys. What we'll do next episode is we'll go ahead, we'll try, if we can, mine some more stuff, uh, hopefully get some coal and stuff like that. We'll try and move along to, uh, to maybe get the glider. I think we could definitely get the glider next episode. Uh, try and get some iron going. Try and get some form of water production. Move on to some, uh, oh my gosh, iron. How are we going to, jeez. 
flipping, we do get some cool rewards though. A treadmill, uh, the shell construction, so we get some sink stuff. We can spawn, oh my gosh, we can spawn pigs. It's going to be so good. All right, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you guys next time for some more Blast Off. Bye-bye.